Golf Central. Brought to you by Titleist. Round one of the Valero Texas Open TPC San Antonio. Shot of the day, Kenny Duke. This for Eagle, and he barely saw it go in. <laughs> and a celebration in South Central Texas for Ken Duke. With that, welcome into Golf Central. Whit Watson joined momentarily by Jim Gallagher and Colt Nose. First, some developing news involving a certain former world number one. On Tuesday, Tiger Woods appeared at Big Cedar Lodge in Missouri to announce a new golf course design project. The layout, dedicated to Missouri native Payne Stewart, will be the first public course Woods has designed. On Thursday, this former number one was back in the headlines for another reason entirely. Woods announcing on his website Thursday he had another surgical procedure on his back sometime between Tuesday and now. This one, an anterior lumbar interbody fusion described as minimally invasive, the goal to alleviate pain in his back and leg. Tiger issuing a statement on the website, quote, the surgery went well. I am optimistic this will relieve my back spasms and pain. When healed, I look forward to getting back to a normal life, playing with my kids, competing in professional golf, and living without the pain I've been battling so long. The operation performed by Dr. Richard Geyer of the Center for Disc Replacement at the Texas Back Institute. Here was his statement. After he recovers from surgery, he will gradually begin his rehabilitation until he is completely healed. Once that's accomplished, his workouts would be geared to allowing him to return to competitive golf. If you're going to have single level fusion, the bottom level is the best place for it to occur. Woods opted for this surgery after conservative therapy was deemed to have failed as a permanent solution. That included rehab, medications, limiting activities, and some injections. Joining us on Golf Central, Dr. Andrew Hecht, who is the Chief of Spine Surgery with Mount Sinai Health System. Dr. Hecht, first question, an anterior lumbar interbody fusion. Please explain to us what exactly that means. Okay, so as you know, uh, Tiger Woods had a few previous discectomies. So what has probably happened here is the disc, this is the spine, this is the front of the spine, and this is the back of the spine. His previous operations were here in the back of the spine where they made a little window to try to remove the pressure on a nerve from what's called a herniated disc, where a little piece of the jelly inside of the disc has come out and pinched a nerve. Over time, as the disc is degenerated, the space narrowed. So what they did today is they came in the front of the spine, moved all the blood vessels and intestines out of the way by sneaking behind them and removed the entire disc here. And in its place, place a type of cage that's either made of titanium or plastic that's kept in place with screws or a plate to create a fusion. Inside of that cage is some type of bone growth material that will join the L5 bone down to the S1 bone. Now, I wonder, in your experience, do you know of any other athletes in any sport that have had a similar procedure? And if so, what is a typical timetable after this? Well, typically a lumbar spine fusion in elite athletes, and I'm talking about for contact sports or um, usually results in about a 15% about a performance decline. Mm -hmm. Now, golf, even though it's a very powerful, violent swing, is not a contact sport, so it's a totally different metrics. And I think with a, a sport like golf, the likelihood of returning to play is very high. And I think what's been probably limiting Tiger Woods more than anything else is the pain that he has when he swings. This operation is to fuse together the level that's had the previous surgeries to eliminate that pain. And I think once he's fused, he should be able to return to full golf activity, and that usually takes somewhere between probably close to six months before you'd see him back 
playing competitive golf at the, at the earliest, most likely. Dr. Heck, that is a very concise explanation. Thank you very much for your time. We do appreciate it. You're welcome. This is the fourth time since the beginning of 2014 that Woods has had a procedure on his back. Going back to March 31st of 2014, he missed the Masters that year. Back surgeries in consecutive months in 2015, had to pull out of Dubai in 2017, and now the back surgery in April of 2017. Joined now on Golf Central by Golf Channel on NBC's Nota Begay, who's been in touch with Tiger today. Nota, what were some of the important takeaways from the communication you had with Tiger? Well, it was uh, extremely brief, but um, th just basically what the future holds, it's, it's, it's extremely uncertain. There was some lingering nerve pain that just persisted and, and it, it didn't go away. And this is sort of a last resort to try and allow Tiger to um, have a, a reasonable personal life where he's not dealing with chronic pain on a day-to-day -day basis and also to give him a chance to have an opportunity to play golf again. So um, all in all, it's certainly not the way that anybody wants something to work out, but uh, he's doing everything he can to, to try and get back to playing at a competitive level sometime soon. Noto, you use the phrase last resort. In your impression, do you think that Tiger is optimistic that he will be able to play again given this surgery? I, I think he is highly optimistic. And it's hard to be that when you've gone through a succession of surgeries in a short period of time. But at the end of the day, um, similar to how he approaches the game, he's just not going to roll over and, 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 and disappear. He wants to not leave any option unturned, un, unturned and this anytime you're talking a fusion and certainly I'm not a, a doctor but it's a pretty serious procedure but um, I think that with the success that they they had and and with the possibility of, of playing pain-free and anybody that's ever dealt with chronic back pain and tried to do anything from mow the lawn to play professional sports it's pretty hard so getting rid of the pain, I think, is a big positive from all this, and hopefully it allows him to uh, get back on the golf course uh, in, in a few months. Noda Begay joining us on the phone here on Golf Central. Noda, thanks. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Still to come on Golf Central, Bubba Watson trying to build on past success. He is back in China for a stop on the European Tour. Legends of golf gathering in Missouri for a special event on the PGA Tour Champions schedule. And highlights from the opening round at the Valero Texas Open. That and more as we continue on Golf Central. Golf Central is brought to you by the new Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Choose the best for your game. Ship Sticks, the largest golf bag shipping company in the world, simplifying the way you travel.